Okay, hello back to my channel, the Dev Explaining. Uh, today we are going to continue with our Python Discord bot uh, series. So last time uh, we moved on to using the actual bot API and added Git here. Uh, today I think uh, the plan is to create a bit more of the bot API, uh, introduce some kind of timing mechanism here, and um, hmm, yeah, I think that's going to be a plenty. So let's let's see what we can do. Let's get started. Uh, you should be able to now, now see see my code. Uh, just a reminder, if you have watched the previous uh, part of these episodes, uh, I mentioned that I'm going to now concentrate on creating very ugly code. Uh, the purpose is to come back and do some good refactoring, and to do that I need as much bad code as possible. So this is not going to be beautiful, this is like code vomit. That's the whole purpose. However, it's going to be functional, so it should be actually doing something. So uh, last time uh, we have created uh, this basic bot API. Uh, we have uh, imported the Discord commands API. We created the bot with the prefix. Uh, and then we have the then we have the start command. Uh, and when somebody starts timer, we are just immediately saying time to work. So what we actually want to do here is uh, we need to have a little bit of delay because that's the idea of a timer. And uh, to do that, I think uh, let's introduce a new library. So there should be a library called async.io. Let's grab that. Yeah. And the library uh, contains uh, some comments. So uh, w the thing we can do here is await async.io dot sleep and let's uh, in re real time this is second so in real time we could be uh, sleeping uh, typical pomodoro time is 25 minutes so 25 times 60 would be the number but uh, that would be a lengthy video so instead let's uh, simulate a shorter kind of break just uh, enough to see how this works so we would like to when we start things we would first like to start the work then we sleep a little bit and I think then might be time to play. So we need a break after that one. And then we would iter iterate back. So that would be a, like a never ending loop, hopefully. Okay, anyway, uh, very simple kind of proof of concept level thing. So let's try to see if I'm able to run it or if I messed up something immediately. Well, it seems like my bot at least connected and there is no typos yet. So let's try dot, uh, sorry, start, time to work. And then we wait and work and work and work and work and work. And asynchronously on the background there should be a timer unless I, yeah, <laughs> I managed to actually nail it in the first try. So time to work, then some wait and then time to play. So we could, of course, as I said, extend that to 25 minutes. So actually, Sounds good to me. We are done. Thank, thank you for watching. Or perhaps not. Let's make this a little bit better. So I'm going to go back back to the code. Uh, I'm not going to make this too much, uh, too much larger, but let's make it a bit more deep. Anyway, here is the kind of core mechanism. So we want to be able to sleep and then uh, we are going to output some things for the channel. Okay. So I wanted to include some more things uh, this week. First is let's make the texts a little bit more interesting. Also, let's work for less, uh, for, for a little bit shorter time. It will be more fun. So uh, the send command is able to get uh, just a simple string. But another thing you can put here is you can embed something. So uh, the Discord, uh, sorry, the send command accepts also param parameter called embed. So if we create a discord embed, then we are able to uh, kind of format the text a little bit better. Let's call this start embed. So we can have a separate one for the ending. Again, ugly code, I will get back uh, for those of you who like clean code and constant refactoring. <laughs> I typically like as well, but I'm purposefully trying to create ugly code. So hopefully 
the code vomit will be complete at some time and we can clean it up anyway uh, discord embed i think i haven't imported it yet so let's do that uh, oh, actually yeah it's, it's there it's included in the discord uh, I, my id should be complaining if it's not there so overthinking it so uh, start them discord embed discord embed uh, wants some parameters so uh, let's give it a title title would be uh, time to start working and uh, here is the fun thing we can also put the color here so for example let's go with a little bit of red a little bit of green and then a little bit of blue so we, we will have some kind of color set up here greenish happy color and then uh, because working is of course very very happy then we have uh, uh, end or or well start work m start work m now yeah. then we have start play m and then we could include here context send embed equals start play m okay play is always much fun so happy color here as well time to start your break yeah so a little bit of work a little bit of break we could use different colors but that's not the point here let's see if i'm able to get this working or did i make any mistakes as i said i'm kind of winging most of this so it's rather exciting for me if, if i mess up mess it up uh, very badly uh, then i might need to do some creative cutting to to not not bore you out of out of this channel but um, as long as i make small mistakes it's okay for me to fix them online time to work did i crash the application or is it working time to play yeah so actually i think there might be a problem did i accidentally leave another one running because i should have colors here right now let's try to run this again okay so waiting for something to happen it seems to me that I'm still somehow running the old version of the bot because there is a very lengthy delay. Actually, there should... Ah, it crashed. Okay. Good, good. Well, the good news is that I'm actually running the new new version of the bot, so I know how to fix this. So, welcome to real life of a developer. This is how the work typically goes, except I'm like double stupid today because I'm trying to talk and code at the same time. It's an extremely bad idea. Please don't try that at home. Um, okay, so type error expected Discord color int or embed empty but received string instead. So I tried to pass in a string and uh, I was supposed to pass in a color. So uh, I should probably take a look at the documentation and try to figure it out. Uh, yeah, I think the color should be a primitive kind of thing here, not... So it should be assigned like this. Let's let's see if I'm right. Interesting times. At least it didn't crash yet. So let's see how my start works. Okay. So we got a little bit of kind of uh, formatting going on to make this uh, uh, distinguish uh, a little bit better from the channel, from the other chatter. So I, I pay a little bit more attention to this one. Um, second thing, we added the timer. So the timer is rather simple part, but I think what remains now, very important part, I probably want to interact with this a little bit more uh, so that uh, if I decide to stop the timer, I should have something for that. So let's actually create a placeholder for that operation already. So th something like this. Uh, another pod command, this is uh, uh, stop stop the timer. 
Yeah. And otherwise I have the similar function, but of course uh, rename it a little bit. By the way, I've been doing a little bit stupid renaming. So here is the performance hint again. If you want a force multiplier, use your IDE. What I really should be doing is remember that F2 is rename symbol. Uh, if you rename your symbols with that one, it's uh, also going to rename all the references to those symbols. So it's much superior to that one. So really highly, highly recommended. Anyway, stop timer. I'm going to implement it later. I think that's good for the next week's episode. But uh, stop timer m equals discord embed uh, title timer has been stopped. I like to shout, so we'll leave this here. And we could leave this green because it's still a happy thing, but we could also say that this is like uh, pay attention, timer has been stopped. Or we could select some other neutral color instead, that would also work. So this one goes here, up. This one goes here. Okay, looking good, I think. We have to remember to stop our current bot, start our new version of the bot. Hopefully it will still work. So I should have stop command. And right now it's only going to print out something, but let's flesh it out uh, in the next episode. So it doesn't really matter if I start or stop right now, because I don't really have that statefulness. I think that's part of the next week's episode. So I try to do very small increments, uh, mainly so that we can concentrate on few topics at time. And I think uh, I also try to keep this one's, uh, this week's episode uh, concise and compact. So uh, this week what we were doing, we added a little bit of a, a timer mechanism so that we are actually able to sleep a little bit uh, and therefore simulate the Pomodoro timer nicely. Uh, we added a little bit of formatting those tiny details really count in your application. So uh, just by having those a little bit of colors and having our text separate from the channel, it's not getting clutter cluttered with the potential other chat that goes on in the channel. So good things are happening. And I think a final thing that I want to, to do, um, nothing new, but uh, just uh, to finalize this. So the final thing I want to show to you is to, to put this to git. So git status, I could also do this in ID, but somehow I think this is kind of uh, my old schoolness, but I somehow like to do most of the Git stuff uh, in command line. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, Git status, uh, I, I admit it would be faster to do in ID and not jump jump here, but it's fun. this is fun for me, so let's do it. I verify that uh, what I have modified, that, is it matching what I think I modified? Then I add this, then I put a good message. So I remember later what I just did. Added a timer and formatting code is still but ugly. Am I allowed to say but in YouTube? Uh, yeah, probably am, but I forgot to put M. Yep, here we go. So I think that's enough for, for this week's episode. Uh, not many interesting things, but if you have been following this series, hopefully you learned something new. And if you did uh, uh, smash that like button and subscribe button and bell icon, you know the drill by now. But also uh, feel free to share this channel uh, for other people to see. And also finally, uh, I would welcome any feedback in the feedback section. So even critique is much welcome. Uh, I promise uh, try and not uh, take it personally unless you make personal comments there. But any feedback is welcome. If you have some ideas for my channel, if you have some ideas how to do some things better uh, or in other ways than what I'm showing, feel free to add it there. If you just subscribe to my channel, uh, I would also appreciate if you drop a comment and tell, tell so, so I can give you a th thank you uh, there as well. So I think that's it. That's enough for this week. Thanks for tuning in and see you next week for the next video. Bye bye.